I love the question of, of um, how can I be creative and, and, and how does one become creative? Here's an amazing fact. The word creativity was never used with respect to the universe until the 1920s. Mm. Never. So creativity was understood to be something that humans did, poets, musicians, and so forth. But that, see, that's the, that's the stunning discovery of cosmogenesis. It, it, so it turns out that instead of a universe just sort of being there in the background, the whole thing is creative. So, so how to be creative? Be part of the universe. So the, the universe is the one that teaches us how to be creative. The planet Earth created life. Now, that's, that's a pretty amazing a fact. And the way, the way it did this was to create a membrane. So that it, it's not just that things are interconnected. It's that some things connect and build structure and complexity. So what life did was to, when, when a certain amount of complexity was developing, it protected it with a membrane so that creativity could continue. And the membrane would block out the harmful elements that might take apart the, uh, the, the complexity. So learning from the universe, creative people need to build a, what I call a psychic membrane. It is, it is a, an intelligent web that allows in those elements that deepen the creativity and the complexity and block out those elements that just move it to a common denominator. <laughs>